Good morning, everyone. My name is Boram Yoon from Kai Studio Lab. On behalf of my colleagues, I'd like to present our work, The Effective Virtual Avatar Appearance on Social Presence in an AR-Based Remote Collaboration System. In recent decades, remote collaboration systems have developed from 2D video-based to 3D-based system. The goal of those 3D remote collaboration systems is to enable remote users to collaborate together as easily as if they were in the same space. Social VR platforms such as Facebook Spaces use avatars placed in the same virtual environment to support social activities. An AR collaboration service like Magic Leap Social places an avatar of remote users into a local user's real space. In these collaborative AR or VR applications, the remote user can be represented in various ways like these examples. However, even though the existing commercial systems have adopted various collaborators' avatar, these avatar types have not been validated in terms of social presence and user perception, especially for AR remote collaborative tests. Thus, the main motivation is to explore if different visual representations of avatars affect users in AR-based telepresence systems. Based on the previous research, we said social presence as a key measurement because it is defined as the sense of being together or being with another. Also, social presence afforded by the medium and has measured the perception of other with whom one is interacting according to Bioka and Harm's definition. Thus, it is important for the mediating system to provide a high social presence to effectively convey the feeling of communicating together to users. These examples are widely used social presence survey, and we also used both of them as main measurements. Four subscales of network mind social presence were used, and they focus on co-presence, attention, or interaction during communication. And the second survey seemed more focusing on recognition and virtual imagery of the collaborator. The related previous studies also have investigated the relationship between avatar representation and user subjective feelings such as presence or realism. And they mostly concluded more realistic one had better perception and was recommended. These studies, of course, seemed related to our main thesis. However, except the third one assumed real background condition by Joe et al., they only focused on VR-based collaboration. Therefore, the appearance factors and its effectiveness needs to be verified in AR environments as well. Furthermore, we also categorized different avatar types, which already adapted by existing telepresence systems. As a result, um, we could sort, sort them based on the two factors, avatar body type and character style, like below pictures in this slide. Um, and we set the following research questions to achieve the main purpose of the research. Re research question one is, are the avatar representations of existing 3D remote collaboration systems effective in creating social presence in an AR-based remote collaboration? And the second one is, what condition would have the highest social presence when the avatars are represented with different body part visibility and character styles? And the third one is what features should be taken into account when designing avatar representation in the future. As shown in the previous slides, according to the existing systems and research trends, two of the main factors are body part visibility and character style. In terms of body part visibility, three levels were set, head and hands, upper body, and whole body. And character style was divided into two types, cartoon and realistic. Here are our hypotheses. Hypothesis one, two, and three are related to the first factor, body part visibility. So the first hypothesis is, is the body factor will affect social presence in AR. And hypothesis two and three is the whole body and head and hands will each have the highest and the lowest social presence. Hypothesis four and five are related to the second factor character style, and we hypothesize that a realistic style would have a higher social presence according to the results from previous research. 
Um, for the user studies, we implemented a simple MR remote collaboration system. The participants wore a Meta 2 optical see-through HMD, and the recruited professional actor wore HTC Vive and held trackers to generate virtual avatars motion. The experiment was in a within subject design and counterbalanced, and social presence was um, quantitatively measured, and post-experiment interview was conducted to collect quali qual qualitative results. Um, the two separated user studies were performed with different tasks, but it is shared common collaboration characteristic, which is a face-to-face -face discussion, and a total of um, 48, 48 participants were recruited. The collaborative task of study one was solving crossword puzzle, and furniture placement task was conducted during study two. Study one and two had different physical distance between users, and the remote users' movement also differed. We found a significant main effect of body part visibility, um, let me call it as just body, uh, on the aggregated a, uh, HSP score in study one. And the postdoc analysis showed significant differences between head and hands and upper body and head and hands and whole body conditions. Also, in study two, a significant main effect on aggregated HSP was found in the body factor. Pairwise comparisons also showed significant differences in all pairs. We additionally measured um, balance and social presence only in study two, and it also had a significant main effect of body, and pairwise tests also showed significance in all pairs. Um, on the other hand, we cannot find a significant main effect of character style. Um, during the post-experiment inter interview, we gathered lots of meaningful responses, and it was summarized into four categories. The interesting thing is, these categories general feedback strongly followed and supported the statistical result, and also it implied meaningful discussion points. And please check the details in our paper. We verified the five hypotheses based on statistical analysis. The experimental results supported our first hypothesis because both study one and two revealed a significant effect of body part visibility on social presence. We partially accepted the second hypothesis. We found significant differences between these pairs for study uh, these pairs, except for study one. And the aggregated um, social presence in study one didn't indicate a significant difference between upper and whole body because the narrow physical distance between the user and avatar might have affected the result. About the third one, the results strongly supported the hypothesis because all aggregated social presence indicated the lowest value on head and hands condition for both character styles in study one and two. And hypothesis four and five were not supported as there were no significant effects of character style. In our research, all participants were exposed to the same partner controlling the avatar's personality and social behavior. In addition, we assume that social presence questionnaire asked indirectly about communicating factors such as attention, interaction, and mutual understanding. Therefore, it could be a reason of the result that both styles had the same way of interaction, body parts, and even treated by the actor in the same way. We summarize the design implications. Firstly, it should be carefully considered which body part is feasible. Um, between whole body and upper body, we mainly recommend a whole body for the collaborator's avatar based on our research. However, we also would conclude that if the task mostly requires only seeing an upper body, or if the activity space is limited, the use of upper body could be considered. And about the head and hands, um, it should be avoided because it produced the lowest social presence among body conditions, and user perception was also negative. In our study, the difference in social presence on character style was not statistically significant. However, we could also find the user's overall perception of each type or differently formed. 
Therefore, it is suggested to use a realistic or cartoon style depending on whether the collaboration scenario has a productive goal or pursuing pleasure. Also, the relationship between users could determine the choice of character styles. And we conclude that either realistic or cartoon avatar could be appropriate depending on the collaborative task, such as either working together with a real person or playing with a friend. Also, in terms of body parts, whole body or altern alternatively upper body type could be used depending on the collaboration, um, collaboration condition. Therefore, we suggest that when designing and implementing AR telepresence systems using virtual avatars, designers should first consider the environmental limitations and the purpose of the collaborative scenario and its context. In conclusion, depending on those features, the four avatar types using half or full body visibility and realistic or cartoon representations could be adapted and would deliver a good collaborative experience to users. And we have some limitations on our study and we'll further investigate it on our future works. Um, for example, we would like to conduct more user studies with different collaboration contexts or social relationships between collaborators. Also, in this study, we used differently rendered avatars, and there are also other important appearance factors exist. So we are considering to apply other factors, such as gender, scale, and match features with the collaborator. In addition, not only social presence, but other subjective factors need to be investigated further for other implications. Thank you for all my presentation today. Thank you. We have a few moments for a few questions. Hello. Uh, my name is Kojiro from Osaka Institute of Technology. So in your title, you say AR-based remote collaboration, but you actually tested everything in VR, so virtual environment. Is that correct? Um, actually, our system is based on ML, a mixed reality-based remote collaboration system. But the reason we set the title as AR is um, our participants um, use the AR site. And uh, the reason we use VR site for the remote collaborator is we need to track the whole body uh, with the vibe trackers. So that's why uh, you have that kind of confusion. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Hi, interesting talk, thank you. My name is Vaughan Powell from the University of Portsmouth. My question is about um, your findings for Hypothesis 2, where it was only partially upheld, and it seemed to be that it was only partially upheld because of Study 1. Um, in Study 1, the um, avatar is actually quite close to the user. Yes. Yes? Yes. Um, in order to keep the face in view, much of the body then isn't in view, and I'm kind of wondering whether you might like to comment on perhaps whether it's that lack of seeing the body when you're keeping the face in view, yes. whether that might have influenced the results. Yes, um, uh, we also assume that that's the reason of the uh, study one's result, I mean, on the social presence. Uh, that's why we also conducted study two, uh, had, had more um, farther distance between users and uh, in that study too, a uh, participant could see the whole body at a gl glance. Yeah, so that's why the study one and two had some kind of different results uh, on social presence, and that's why we conclude that upper body could be also considered uh, when the FOV or the um, space is limited. Okay. Um, is it, would it be interesting possibly to see whether you actually put your avatar even further away, whether you would get a difference between the two of those? Um, actually, um, we conducted only the, uh, uh, the, the further, limi uh, f further distance was uh, 3.4 meter in our condition. So I think we need to uh, do that also on our further study if okay. the, the distance uh, is further than this, then what could be the result? Yeah, so that's the good point. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Okay, let's thank our speaker again.